hello this is special equation lesson 2 in this i will discuss questions based on the concept i discussed in the previous lesson now 7x plus 13y this is given to us 186 x and y are positive integers question says how many solutions are possible just to give you a reminder uh, in the last lesson i discuss ax plus minus by equals to c when such equations are there where a and b are co prime you first need to find one solution then i told you that the value of x will change by the coefficient of y that is b the value of x will change by the coefficient of y that is b the value of x will change by b and the value of y will change by the coefficient of x that is a change means either it can increase or decrease by a that you have to decide by common sense so in this case also we need to find the positive integer solution first i will find just one solution now do, no no need to try to find one solution by heat and trial method now what you have to do simplify this equation can i say 7x is equals to 186 minus 13y what would be x 186 minus 13y by 7 now divide till the point it is divisible now 7 to the 14 if you divide 186 this 7 to the 14 this is 46 uh, 76 a 42 it means that it is divisible till 26 7 into 26 plus remainder would be your 4 4 would be your remainder so i can write this as 186 as 26 into 7 plus 4 i can write like this now 13y i can write write it write it like this minus 14y because 14y is divisible plus y this is divided by 7 now if you solve this this is equals to x is equals to now i will combine 26 into 7 take it separately minus 14y i will take it separately now what is left can i say that this is equals to 4 plus y this is 7 now if you solve this can i say this is equals to 26 minus 2y if you divide by 7 plus 4 plus y by 7 so in this way i have simplified the equation now we will apply the logic now you can see that x and y are both integer now for x to be integer can i say 4 plus y this 4 plus y must be divisible by 7 then only x can be integer otherwise x will not be a integer so 4 plus y must be divisible by 7 given that x and y are positive integers can i say y must be 3 because 7 is divisible by 7 first number that is divisible by 7 would be 7 uh, for numerator to be 7 y should be 3 so can i say i got a solution uh, i will got a solution that is i am just writing this is x this is y so i got one solution that y is equals to 3 now what will be the value of x If y is three, if y is three, this becomes seven. Seven by seven, one, and this becomes twenty-six minus y is three. Twenty-six minus six, this is twenty plus one, twenty-one. So x is twenty-one, and y is three. That is my first solution. Now my equation was seven x plus thirteen y. This was equals to one eighty-six. I told you, you just need to find the one solution, then you make a pattern. Now what the question say? I will make a pattern. now the value of y will change by 7 the value of x will change by 13 now if the value of y will change by 7 obviously i will increase then only it will get positive value otherwise it will be get negative value so 3 plus 7 the value of y will change by 7 can i say this is 10 the value of x will not increase otherwise it will not satisfy the value of y x will change by 13 so definitely it will be reduced by 13 uh if you you can check also if you increase by 13 then it won't satisfy the equation so 21 minus 13 can i say this would be equals to how much can i say this will be equals to 8 now this will also satisfy the equation you can check 7 8 is 56 plus 130 that will also make 186 now further the x value will change by minus 13 so can i say this will become minus 5 the y value will change by 7 can i say this becomes 17 this we will not require because given that x and y are positive integers so i have how many solutions i have i have only two solution x 21 y 3 x 8 y 10 so this answer for this question is that i have exactly two positive integer solution so answer is 2
Now question number two says 12 times the date of my birth is added to 31 times the month of my birth. The sum is 425. Can I say that 12 times the date of my birth that's a D plus 31 times the month of my birth that is M. This is equals to 425. Now remember that M value will always lies between 1 and 12 because total months are 12. The value of D will lies between 1 and 30 or 31. Now pause the video try to solve yourself. Then look at the way I have sold. Now how I will so can I say 12 D would be how much? 425 minus 31 M. Can I say D would be how much? D would be 425 minus 31 M divided by this is 12. Now divide till is divisible. Now for 425 divided by 12. Now 12 3 the 36. This is 65. 12 5 the 60. This is 5. So can I say that D will be equals to 35 into 12 plus 5 you can write, write like this now this is 31 can I say this is 36 minus 5 you can see that 36 m minus 5 m this 31 m you can write like this this divided by 12 now if you divide this what you will get can I say 35 into 12 by 12 this is 35 also 36 m by 12 this is 3 m minus 3 m this is gets get separate now what is left can I say this 5 minus 5 m by 12 this is what I will get finally 5 this would be 5 plus 5 m or you can say that if you take 5 common can I say that d is equal to 35 minus 3 m where m is the month and if you take 5 common can I say this m plus 1 should be this is divisible by divided by 12 now what the question says that now you can see that uh, M, D and M both are integer. Now M plus 1 B should, should be divisible by 12. Then only D can be integer. This M plus 1 should be divisible by 12. Then only you can say that D will become integer. Otherwise it will not be an integer. Because date can't be in fraction. Date will always be a positive integer. For date to be positive integer, M plus, N, M, M plus 1 should be divisible by 12. Can I say M would be only possibility for M is 11. Only possibility for M is 11. 11 plus 1 then, then only it will be divisible by 12. If M is 11 then what would be D? This is 11 plus 1 12 by 12. 1 this is 5. And this would be 11 minus 3 30. 3 35 minus this would be 2. So 2 plus 5 date would be 7. So a month is 11. Date is 7. Now what was my equation? My equation was 12 D. This was my equation. 12 D plus 31 m with 425 i got one solution m and d i got one solution m and d that is m value i got as 11 d value i got as 7 if you check this will satisfy now can i, I have one more solution now m value will change by 12 m value as per the concept m value will change by 12 now if you either you will change by plus 12 or minus 12 both will not be valid if you change by plus 12 this will become 23 and 23 is no month because total number of months are from 1 to 12 even if you will change by minus 12 then it will become negative so there is only one possibility m is 11 and d is 7 so what was the question what is the month of my birth month of my birth m 11 that is november so November is the month of my birth. 11 stands for the 11th month of the year, calendar year. So answer is November. Question number 3 is, in an acute angle triangle in which measures of all the angles in degrees are natural numbers. 13 times the one of the angle, let's say 13x, x is one of the angle, is 17 times the other angle that is y. Let's say total angle are x plus y plus at 3 angles. Their sum should be how much? 180 degree. The sum should be equals 180 degree. X plus Y plus Z must be equals to 180 degree. Because in any triangle, the sum of all the angles is 180 degree. Now pause the video, try to solve yourself, then look at the way I have solved. Now can I say that X would be how much? 17 by 13 Y. Now as all the angles are integer, Y must be at least divisible by 13 or Y must be a multiple of 13. Otherwise, 
x will be a fraction so minimum value of y that is possible is 13 so y is 13 then x would be 70 17 17 and 13 this becomes 30 and this will be equals to 150 this is one of the possibility now is it a valid, valid possibility no because the triangle is a acute angle triangle and given that uh, we know that in an acute angle triangle all the angles are less than 90 degree now uh, apart from y is 13 y can be 26 also because 26 is also divisible by 13 and this will carry on and x could be then if y is 26 then if you put here 26 x would be how much this would be double 34 this total will become 60 then it would be 120 this is one of possibility then it would be 17 3 is a 51 13 3 is a 39 you can see the pattern the value of z is decreasing by 30 this would be 90 then would be 17 4 is a 68 then would be 52 and then it would be 60 and it could be 17 5 is a 85 this could be 13 5 is a 65 and this would be 30 and after that this is not possible 17 uh, 6 is a 102 uh, 13 6 is a 78 and this would be 0 this is not a valid proposition angle can't be 0 and this is not also not valid because triangle is acute angle triangle all the angles must be less than 90 these three are the this is also not a valid possibility these two are the valid possibilities in which these two are the actually acute angle triangles in which all the angles are less than 90 degree now what was the question what is the measure of largest angle now largest angle you can see that in second case this is 85 85 is the largest angle possible in such a triangle so that was all about this lesson in next lesson i will continue with more on questions on special equations